It was originally a warehouse supporting the goods that were moving up and down the river in the 1800s. In the 1920s, he converted it into a movie theater and started showing silent movies. It closed in the late 40s, early 50s, and drive-in movies were becoming popular then and people weren't coming to indoor theaters. And it's sat dormant for more than 30 years. Then some very industrious Vivians got together to revitalize the theater. It was a horrid mess <laughs> after 30 years. And this is what we have today. It was for stage productions, musical events, that sort of thing. Several years ago, the idea was initiated to uh, bring back movies to the theater. And this year, that became a reality. We're really excited that it's just gonna get better and better. We love being able to bring things to our community and the surrounding communities. Lots of art and culture that you normally wouldn't think that you'd find in a small town like this. So we're very proud of what we do. The Historic Hoosier Theater has a fabulous history of hauntings and interactions with people in the theater. My love of the theater and my own experience being able to share that with people on our tours is one of the reasons it was like one of the first places that when we decided to do the tour, without a doubt, we have to do the Hoosier Theater. We know for sure that we have a woman and we have a young boy and we also believe that there's an adult male that's here and they manifest themselves in different ways over time it seems like the more activity that's going on at the theater the more active they become earlier this year i hadn't experienced anything i'm in the theater a lot and really hadn't seen any of them do anything but boy, here lately, in the last two months, they showed us that they're still here. They have not moved on. <laughs> this um, is real lore. Uh, facts came from our newspaper, the history in our newspaper, and from real people's experiences here in town or in the community. We change our locations up every year. We have the regular standbys, which we will always have the Hoosier Theater on this tour as long as they'll have us, because I really think the cross exposure and the money coming back into the theater is really important in our community.